Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be doing another animal. Uh, it's a wolf. I've done a wolf before, but this time it's a wolf howling. So, you know, wolf howling at the moon and all that stuff. So, <clears throat> we are going to start. We're going to start with this line that runs just on the top of his head up to his nose, right? So, it's his forehead and then it curves around his eyebrow and then goes off towards his nose, right? So, we'll just start with a line, a diagonal line, coming and kind of hairy, so it's spiking. So it's going to go diagonal like this. So it's like a diagonal line going up towards the corner part of your page. Well, maybe just slightly left of the corner. So it's starting here and then up this way. Now this is going to curve around. So it's going to curve around and just under there is where the eye is. So that's like the eyebrow. So then this curves and then it curves off up this way towards the top of his nose. So we're going to go off diagonal up to here. Right now, so the nose is just around here, so we'll do a curved line just like that. And then this comes up. Just a bit longer following that same direction. And then this is gonna curve around the top of his nose. And then we're gonna come down here towards his mouth. So we're going to curve this down, like so, and then this will come in to like a V, like this, and then this is going to come back up and up towards the nose and join that line together. It's kind of a bumpy line because it's got various pieces of skin and stuff on his nose. And then his nostril is just in here then, curving around like so. And then his nose has two sides to it, so you just do a line up here, coming up the middle of his nose. Okay, so so far we just have like a bumpy line with a weird thing on the end. <laughs> so this is gonna come down then to his mouth, right? So we're gonna do a line down from this middle of the nose here. And then this is gonna have a curve on top like that. And then we'll bring the other side of his snout back in here. Now this then, we come down to his mouth, the edge of his mouth, diagonal line down this way, and then we're going to do the other side of his mouth, just here, and then his bottom jaw comes across from here. So coming out from this line, we have his bottom lip, kind of, just here. And then this curves around for his chin. And now this is going to come all the way down to his neck and neck fur and then off the bottom of the page. So this can be like furry, hairy, bumpy line. Coming all the way down. And you can get hairy as you go down because that thick wolf neck fur that they have. And then of course inside the mouth is dark. You can color that in. And 
and the nostril be dark as well. Right, so now over here, we'll finish this side of his head. So we have the ear. So this, at the back of his head, his ear will come out from this area with another little bump like that, and his ear sticks back. So we're gonna draw the top of his ear, just here. And then this comes back down. Like so. And then we have that inner part of the ear. So it's another curving line that follows that shape of the ear again. And at the bottom, it's, it's a slightly hairier sort of line just down here and another hairy kind of line above it. Just furry sort of ear. This then has a bit of hair on the bottom, zigzagging. Sort of lines on the bottom of that. Curve back up towards the top of his head. And then his neck fur at the back. So we just had spiking, hairy lines coming off. For the back of his neck. All the way. down and off the page there. So now we have the overall shape for the head. So now we can start adding some details like the eyes and the ears and hair and all fur all over. So we'll do, we'll finish the ear here. So there is a curved line that comes out from his head. So imagine it comes around here and we have a curved line that comes and it's hairy coming all this way. Okay, coming in towards the ear. And this goes up and in, diagonal, making that fur inside the ear. And then we have the darker part, the darker shade where the sound goes in, so the whole of his ear, and that's darker inside. All inside there. So, then, Then we can come up now and do the eye that's right underneath this bump, right? So this bump just here that we did at the start. Underneath there we have a closed eye, right? So down underneath that, we have a line that comes up diagonal, just here. And now this will come back down like so. And we're gonna close this off then at the bottom and then color this in black. Now, so there's some detail around that eye. So we can just do a line just here. And then above that we have the wolf's uh, eyebrow. So we have a hairy line just above that, just for an eyebrow. And there's a little eyelid line just here. And then another furry eyebrow line above that, curving up and around, like so. Now, so then we can add a bit more detail then. So we'll add some Furring li furry lines coming down around his eye. And we can add some just coming out from the corner of his, of his eye here, just the end of it coming down. Towards his ear. This then comes down now to more furry lines that will go around his neck just down here so we're spiking 
you don't have to be too precious about how you do it any way at all will work just spikes hairy lines and then a big line just up here for where his uh, jaw would be like where his jaw starts to go up towards his mouth so it's a thicker sort of line And then we'll do another layer of that just here closer to his closer to his eye. So we'll do some more hair. Spikes just coming up and around. here so spiking hairy lines okay just given the fur some texture you don't have to do too much just given that suggestion that there's fur there okay so we can add some details up around here then so We'll add some, just some more hair lines, fur lines. And up around his snout, so there is those sort of whisker dots. They're like dots where whiskers grow out. So we can add a couple of dots coming down towards the eye. So coming out from there towards the eye. Kind of like that. And then we'll just make some hair or it's kind of shade lines just on this side coming out of his snout some on the, this side because it's darker as well maybe make this look a bit hairy coming down towards his bottom lip just coming down here Like so, and then there is some hair just on his bottom chin as well. So just making this a bit darker, just around this lip. some whisker dots down here maybe also and then there's some we're going to darken up this nose maybe and uh, leave maybe some little bits white just adding some lines to shade that up. Of course, if you were coloring, you could color it a different color as well. And we're gonna add some fur just down here too. So just some lines coming down.
little lines. And you could keep going for as long as you wanted on this. Adding, building it up, sort of trying to suggest more and more fur. But I think I'll stop it there. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Not bad. How to draw a howling wolf. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.